peace. I'm at peace. I'm at peace. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Oh, that's right. You know what time it is now? Oh, what time it is? It's time to go to heavy place. It's carefree time. Under secret place, the most high. Under the shadow of the Almighty. Go to your heavy place right now. Where it is, go to your heavy place and be carefree. Amen, family. The bubbles are not on. The bubbles are not on. The bubbles are not on. It don't work today. Amen, family.
be carefree. As we go to worship now, we just lead. <laughs> Praise God. We just say, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. As we now rest in you, Lord. We now rest in your secret place under the shadow of the Almighty for the next 35 minutes, Lord. For the next 35 minutes, we cast all our care on you, Lord. For you care for each one of us, Lord. Because you inhabit the praises of your people. Our praise ushered in your presence. And right now we feel your presence right now in this place. We feel your love. Your unconditional love surrounding us right now. We feel your peace beyond understanding flowing right now. And most importantly, the anointing is flowing right now. And right now we receive a fresh anointing for this day. Let's say it again, family. I receive a fresh anointing right now for this day. In the name of Jesus, say it again. I receive a fresh anointing right now for this day in the name of Jesus. Anointing for victory. Anointing for healing. Breakthrough. Deliverance. Provision. Protection. Whatever it is. His anointing destroys every yoke. His anointing is the burden removing, yoke destroying power of God. Receive it, bask in it, immerse yourself in it, and rest. Rest in the anointing because now. God's got it. Oh, yes, Lord. Because now God's got it. When you let go and let God have it, God's got it. And now rest. Rest and trust. Rest and trust. Rest. And trust. And right now, Father God, we just say, have your way, Lord. Have your way. You are the potter, and we are the clay. Mold us, Lord, into what you need us to be today, Lord. Every day, Lord. Have your way. Have your way in every way. And right now, we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence and say, use me, Lord. Use me as you see fit for the kingdom. We've taken any worry and stress and fear, anxiety, struggle, infirmity, lack, whatever it is. We've laid everything on the altar right now, Lord. We lay everything on the altar and we let go. We let go because we trust you, Lord. And thou shalt keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because we trust. We trust. We trust you with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding in all our ways. We acknowledge you, Lord, and you will direct our path. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, take over, Lord. Oh, take over right now. I feel your love. I rest in you, Lord, right now. As we commit every day to keep living the word, Lord. Like the song says, living by the word. To be in your will and your way every day. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Living by the word. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. together because we're living by the word hallelujah say it again living by the word hallelujah it's all about the word oh say it one more time hallelujah living by the word glory to god thank you jesus
last lord. God is real. God is real to each one of us here right now. The only way we're here right now, at this point in time, in your life, is because God has been so real to each one of us here. God is real.
Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. For God is my help in every need. God does my every hunger feed. God walks beside me, guides my way through every moment of the day. I now am wise. I now am true, patient, kind, and loving too. All things I am can do and be through Christ the truth that lives in me. God is my health. I can't be sick. God is my strength, unfailing quick. God is my all. I know no fear since God and love and truth are here in Jesus' name. Lord, continue to bless this fellowship, Lord, in any way, Lord, to bless everyone in this fellowship, live archive, Lord, to touch each person in this fellowship in their area of need, Lord. Before we even pray, Lord, before we even pray, you're already there. You're already moving. You're already touching. You're already healing each person who hear my voice right now. And Father God, right now, I go into this corporate intercessory prayer right now, Lord. In this prayer, Lord, I pray this corporate prayer, Lord, over the entire fellowship, Lord. Father God, I stand in agreement with prayers for loved ones, prayers for healing, provision, breakthrough, deliverance, and whatever other pr prayer requests that on the heart of every fellowship member right now, live or archive, Lord. I stand in agreement that every prayer request shall come to pass. The fervent prayers of the righteous avails much. Hear our prayer, O Lord. And Father God, as we continue to come together as a fellowship, Lord, six days a week, Lord, daily, Lord, daily we pray, not only for world peace, but daily we pray for a supernatural hedge of protection to be over everybody, Lord. To protect us from any hurt, harm, or danger from unexpected shootings, accidents, natural disasters, or violence, Lord, of any kind. We pray for a, a supernatural healing, Lord, over the pandemic, variants, and every other disease, Lord. We pray for our leaders, for justice, for change. We pray, Lord, for you to continue to wave your mighty hand over the spirits of rebellion, division, racism, and hatred, Lord. As we commit, as a fellowship, to humble ourselves, to pray, to seek your face, to turn from our wicked ways. So you are here from heaven. Forgive our sins and heal our land. All these things we ask, Lord. All these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And before we close, I know someone's watching, maybe for the first time, who doesn't understand why this fellowship is always on fire. We come together around the world in praise and worship fellowship. Having never met physically, but knowing we all love our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And that makes us all brothers and sisters in Christ, which is why you feel so much love on this fellowship. But someone right now listening doesn't understand this kind of fellowship. So right now, I'm going into the closing prayers and the prayer of salvation. As always, please no typing until after the closing prayers. Anything typed during the prayers is to lead our respect for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Right now, I'm talking to the person listening. And you've been here the whole time. And you heard the praise and worship. The prayers and sharing but right now you can't connect because right now right now your life is falling apart worry fear stress anxiety is all over you families turn away from you friends stab you in the back and you may even feel like giving up on life itself right now yes somehow you find yourself on this channel I have no idea how you got here. 
And that's because God brought you here because God sees what you're going through right now, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and that is why you're here. You may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil telling you once you leave God or fail God, you can never go back. And that right there is a lie from the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said the prayer of salvation and then fell back into sin, there's nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just rededicate your life. Recommit your life to Christ. And there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So right now, if you're a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, or right now your life is filled with depression, darkness, and hopelessness, or you just don't know our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, either way, I want you to pray with me now. Pray with me right now. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. Right now, I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. And I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life when I give to you first. Create in me, O Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that's not like you in Jesus' name. Now, if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is right to receive the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us to teach us, to guide us and also convict us we are not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people activities and things you're doing right now in your life which is bringing darkness into your life and he'll tell you how to reverse it first of all spend time with god every day not just every sunday every day spend time with god feed your spirit start with flesh feed your faith start with god every day and the more time you spend with god every day the stronger you get and next thing you know You'll turn away from simple things you used to do. And instead you'll seek God's will and God's way. Amen. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spiritual retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit, named a name, seen or unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship and we cast all you demonic spirits out of mind out of our spirit out of our home back to the pit of hell from which you all came in jesus name and father god loose lord loose into the fellowship unspeakable joy loose peace beyond understanding loose restoration lord restore restore every area of our life lord Loose reconciliation, Lord. Bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil's attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep a hedge of protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose a supernatural healing, physical, spiritual, and emotional healing. By your stripes, we're healed. And we confess, Lord, we confess every day, I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. I believe I receive my healing in Jesus' name. Every day, confess it and thank him. Confess it and thank him every day. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H. Pray until something happens. Loose a supernatural overflow. Financial breakthrough, a supernatural debt cancellation, Lord. Lord, let your blessing, Lord, your blessing of abundance, Lord, rain down, Lord, rain down on fellowship, air, financial need, whatever it is. For you, O Lord, shall supply all our need according to your riches and glory. For Christ Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. 
I shall not want. I shall not want anything. For the Lord is my shepherd. Let us say this part together, fellowship. Repeat after me. For I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. I am the lender and not the borrower. I am blessed going in and blessed going out. I am blessed that I may be a blessing to others. I am out of debt. All my needs are met. I have plenty more to put in store. I am a child of God. And nothing shall by any means hurt me or block my blessings in any way. In Jesus' name. And finally, Lord, finally, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know every day, every day, we take time to visualize it, to see a miracle. See it every day. See it, believe it, and then receive it into your heart. And as you receive it into your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when. But because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up, any day you wake up, could be a day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. So we expect a miracle every day. May the Lord bless you and keep your family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord set his face of right approval upon you and give you peace. That you may be a blessing to everyone you touch and speak to, a blessing to everyone you pray for, a blessing to everyone you pass by and bless without opening your mouth. Because the love and light of the Lord is all over you 24 7, 365, including leap year. So, Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. The fellowship say amen, amen, amen.